Good morning. I hope that you are well and that you've enjoyed the last two days of the faith chapter with Luan and Ronaldo sharing about it. Today we'll be going further in the one-to-one -one reading about salvation and the role that faith plays in our salvation. In Ephesians 2 verse 8 and 9 it says, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this not from yourselves. It is the gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Faith, our complete trust in Christ alone for salvation, is essential. And the standard that God demands of us, or demanded of us through the law, showed that no one can live up to it. No one can live that perfect life except God Himself. That's why Jesus came. And Jesus died on the cross for our sins. He took everything upon Himself. And now when we put our trust, our faith, that confidence in Him, we can, can be restored to a living relationship with God the way it's always been intended. In the one-to-one -one further on, we read that by faith we have been made righteous. Righteous meaning uh, being in right standing with God. It says in Romans 1 verse 17, For in the gospel a righteousness from God is revealed, a righteousness that is by faith from first to last, just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. He clearly states that it is written somewhere, but often when Paul or any of the New Testament writers quotes a, a phrase, I get excited because I know that somewhere it will be in the Old Testament. And in this case as well, it's in Habakkuk 2 verse 4, where the verse um, compares a, a person who's proud and, and even living without integrity against someone who, who lives by faith and who is righteous. And in, this, in, in these scriptures we see that, that nothing that we can do, that, we, that the effort that we put in can, can attain for us that salvation. But it's because of the character of God. It reminds me of where it says that, that God desires all, all people to be saved and everyone to come to the knowledge of the truth. And that's an important, important aspect of God that we need to look at. We need to see that God wants everyone to be saved. Saved from what you might ask? Saved from our sinful nature and from hell. From the wrath that we incur on ourselves. Because we cannot have that communion with God if we have sin in our lives. If He is holy and we are sinful, we need to be saved out of that state. And we can't do it ourselves. So through faith in God and what He has done, for us, His grace, His unmerited faith that saves us from that state. And we are actually being made new and put into righteousness, into right standing with God. And we can in that way have a relationship with God. I hope this brings more clarity to you and, and why our faith is so important in this aspect. Also knowing that faith is not only needed for us to be saved but actually live our daily lives but we'll find out more about that in the next few days god bless you